when I heard there was gonna be a walkabout mini golf edition golf club. I spent money myself, they didn't send me this. I went on and I pre-ordered that thing as soon as I could and it just arrived. So let's check this out. So this is a partnership walkabout mini golf and Hello Real. Hello Real has made stuff before we checked out some stuff from them. Typically their stuff's always like 3D printed so I don't know if this is a 3D printed golf club. In the pictures it didn't look like it but you never know. Instructions, invoices. I wasn't trying to rip this, I just wanted to get it out nicely, but I guess we're just gonna rip into it. Boom, look at this. Wow, that is a beefy monster, actually. It is solid and it is heavy. This is not what I expected. If it's 3D printed, it's wrapped, so you can't really tell. No, I don't think this is 3D printed. This seems manufactured. A quick demonstration here. Club just goes straight in, and then it's got this feature right here. So in Walkabout Mini Golf, you can choose to toggle pulling your grip button to then actually be able to putt. Because too often people are just swinging their putt around not thinking all willy nilly and they actually smack the ball and that counts as a stroke. So this allows you to instead line up your shots and then putt. That part of this is 3D printed, if you can't tell by that and the little hairs hanging off of it. And I will say, unfortunately, that is the cheapest feeling part of this. It's just a simple 3D printed lever right there with a bolt through it, a piece of what feels almost like a bike brake cable line. There's a tiny bit of tension keeping this here, but I mean, it's, it doesn't really even feel like it's spring load. There's just a little bit of tension put on that keeps it a little closer. And then when you pull that, it pulls it in. As far as I can tell, that's basically the whole functionality. It doesn't look like you're supposed to be able to disconnect her. Oh, ah, okay. I know what that's for, but I don't have a wrist strap to demonstrate what that is. If you're a good child, you should have a wrist strap hanging off of here. So when you put that down there, the wrist strap would slip through here. And then that wrist strap, you'd put it in there and then you twist this until it tightened that wrist strap around here. You tighten that up and it wraps all around and then technically you can't go and have this ever come out. Although this is solid. I'm not worried this is gonna go flying out. Maybe if you were using this for actual golfing, not walking with golf where you were just swinging the crap out of it. But that's how you should technically do this so that it's not ever able to. I'm gonna hop in the game really quick, do some quick checks. Uh, we won't spend much time on that. I'll check it myself for you and then come back with some final thoughts. But what I'm a little sad about, in Walkabout Mini Golf, the way you travel is you either quickly hit the trigger and it takes you right to your ball, you're ready to swing and tap, or you can use the analog stick to either use locomotion or teleport from place to place. What I was kind of hoping you could switch this to or had some option was for this to go to the trigger, because I would rather this just takes me to the ball and I'd rather not have the whole grip to putt things. I never use that anyways. I always just keep my club up in between shots. So it would be really nice to be able to always keep my hands here. Okay, next hole, bam, hit, bam, hit. Instead of between shots being like, oh, reach up here with my VR headset on, find the top and then teleport around. But we'll test it real quick in game and I'll get back to you if, there, if I feel like it is kind of a nuisance, but I was hoping there was gonna be some way to have it do what I wanted it to do. All right. Let's go test. Jumped in to walk about, immediately saw something totally new in the menu in here now that this thing's launched. So if you have a putter, any kind of putter, you can calibrate it. But if you go to custom grip now, you turn on, you hit options, you either custom calibrate or you just choose the hello real grip to putter and it's automatically perfect. That is a cool detail, it's built into the game. I like that. I thought I was gonna have to go through calibration. So good on them for making that a thing. Let's talk about this thing. First of all, I'll give it, the reason you're probably buying this is not for functionality, it is for fashion. You got the Walkabout logo on here, you got the Mighty Coconut developer logo, and even the Hello Reel. All of that looks great. The only part that I don't love is the way this thing looks, the way it kind of just hangs there, like, that feels rickety, and to be honest, I'm not using that function. I might actually remove it. Should I risk breaking it, doing it on camera? It looks like you can just unsnap it. Oh, look at that. This part looks a little more complicated with the screw I probably need to take out. I know there are gonna be plenty of you out there that say that's like a main function of this thing. 
I, I will never use it and I don't want it. And I'll tell you a couple of reasons that I don't want it. Something that I didn't realize, I assumed where it was gonna be. I was gonna put my hands in here. I was gonna face this forward like I usually do. It was just gonna be normal as if I was holding it like this. No, it ends up like this which might be because with the Quest 2 controller, maybe they found having it this way was the best way for tracking. I don't know. That was driving me crazy because every time I had it like this, the trigger was right here where it should be if I wanted to use the grip to then putt. But then every time I reached up, I tried to go up here to find my trigger and I ended up having to turn this. So I was doing this number a lot. The problem now, if I still use the built-in calibration they made, I'm still gonna have to have this sideways. So I'm still gonna be having that problem. So I may just have to custom calibrate it this way and then it'll always be facing the right way. And when I go to move in game, I can just reach up here. I really wish if there was an option to make this or if I was a 3D printer, I'd put something up here to let me like pull the trigger with this to move me. I actually think without that piece, this looks quite a bit better. Although this is probably some unnecessary stuff, but I think it looks cool. I paid $72, it's $59 for this, but I had to pay for shipping, which I don't usually ever do it feels like anymore. So that kind of just caught me off guard. So it was like 71, $72. They send this right here. You have 15 days from the day of delivery to add protection if you want to. I just looked it up, it's $10. Extends your coverage to one year from your purchase date and adds two incidents of accidental damage protection. So if you just accidentally break this twice, they'd replace it for 10 bucks. So might be worth it to some of you out there. Overall, would I say this golf club by its own merit is worth $72? It's a bit of a stretch. You're paying for the names, you're paying for the logos, you're paying for how it looks. And because of that, I don't regret my purchase, but I love Walkabout Mini Golf. So I would say this is only for someone who loves Walkabout Mini Golf, who wants to have a dedicated club for it, but realize you're adding a lot of new weight you didn't have before, and you're gonna be bad at it at first. It felt really weird and kind of wrong. It took me a few holes to get more normal because I'm used to using a little tiny Mr. Task Club that you just hold like this. And with that one, my finger's always ready to trigger me to the next spot or teleport me around. So there's a lot you have to get used to with this. Overall, I'm very happy to own it. I just think it's it's for an enthusiast who loves this game. It's not for everyone. But with that, I'll leave a link to where you can go find it. I'm not, I don't think I have a Hello Real affiliate or anything, so I won't get anything if you buy one. I'll leave a link in case you're interested in it, but remember those caveats. It is pretty. I wouldn't mind if they made more additions because I would have liked one that was like blue and purple or something instead of like this red and yellow design. And maybe if it's a success, they'll do it. But what do you think in the comments? Let me know down below. Are you gonna get this? Did anyone else already pre-order it? And do you think I'm crazy for taking this function off since that was a big deal and probably a big part of the cost? It's just not something I've ever used. But let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for coming out and I will see you in another reality.